Climbing temperatures and dangerous riptides are keeping lifeguards very busy at local beaches. Well, hundreds of thousands of people flock to our shores this Labor Day. 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky is live in La Jolla. Jeff, you visited with some people who say this is the most dangerous beach in the city. Yeah, well, Kimberly and Antica, we moved up here to La Jolla Shores where things, at least for right now, are pretty calm. There hasn't been a whole lot for this lifeguard behind me, to, unusual to do at least. But right down the road at Wind and Sea Beach, the lifeguards there told me the distress calls were coming fast and furious. It was great. Kids had an amazing time at the beach Labor Day Monday, playing in the sand, playing in the water, and playing in the heavy waves. Can you show me with your hands how big were they? Big! Big! big. big. It wasn't just the waves that had lifeguards on edge, it was also the rip currents. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say we're upwards around the 7 8 range as far as uh, strength and um, you know, the amount of rip currents. It was especially strong at the north end of Wind and Sea Beach. Out past where the surfers were catching their waves, one lifeguard told me they were having to rescue someone about every 20 minutes. Beachgoers appreciated it. Oh my gosh, I feel like they're doing an excellent job. They've got their binoculars out. Um, I've seen them chasing after a few, making sure everybody's staying safe. So we're in good hands. Good hands, but also busy. Lifeguards reported more than 360 rescues this weekend, including this one Sunday at Wind and Sea. They also gave out nearly 5,000 warnings. Safety is what drove Aaron Horner's family to set up right next to the lifeguards. You can't get any closer than right in front of their tower, so we're in a good spot for sure. She figured her kids would be watched out for. Besides, if a wave knocked them down, they had a good reason to get up. I just got up for my mommy. And we reached out to lifeguards today. They told us they're still putting together the numbers on just how many rescues they had to do out here today. Meanwhile, it's just about dinner time here at the beach. Coming up on 10 News at 7, the incredible feast being cooked right out on the sand that had people turning their heads in surprise. Live in La Jolla, Jeff Lasky, 10 News.